Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the fill hose in your GE dishwasher, you will need a quarter inch drill driver or nut driver, pliers, a 5 16 nut driver bit, channel lock pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the appliance and shut off the water supply valve. Using the drill driver, unthread the two screws securing the toe kick and set it aside. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, use a 5 16 drill driver to unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the orientation of the power wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Use the flathead screwdriver to unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposal and feed it through the cabinet. Unthread the mounting screw securing the dishwasher to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Using the channel lock pliers, compress the hose clamp to release the fill hose from the water inlet valve. Then remove the metal retaining clip to free the hose from the tub. To install the new fill hose, place the clamp on the end of the hose. Then use the clamp to secure the hose to the inlet valve. 
Insert the other end of the tube into the fill cup and push into its slot on the tub. Place the retaining clip back on the tub to secure the fill hose. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Rethread the screws to secure the appliance to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposal. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief nut in the junction box. Then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Join the black wires together, the white wires together, and green wires together. Secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover. And rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line fitting to the inlet valve. Set the toe kick into place and secure with the two screws. Turn the water supply back on, as well as the power and your dishwasher should be ready for use.